We're going to turn now to that basketball showdown that turned into an international incident. A game between the Georgetown University men's team and the Chinese team went from friendly to fractious. As you can see in moments, ABC's Jim Shudo joins us now from Washington with more. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Josh. In China, most of the criticism directed at the Chinese team. Fans laying into them on Chinese social media. One writing today, the team better at kung fu than basketball. Criticism also here in the U.S. of the Georgetown team. Georgetown, no plans to shorten their 11-day tour of the country, but they'll be traveling now with security guards. Basketball diplomacy, it was it. The friendly exhibition between the Georgetown Hoyas and professional Bayi Rockets turned to a shoving match and then an all-out brawl. Both teams swarmed the court. A Georgetown player kicked on the ground, a Chinese player wielding a chair over his head. Washington Post reporter Gene Wong was inside the arena. Benches cleared, and at that point, chairs started flying. There were, there were skirmishes all over the court. And it was just a, a complete, complete disaster. The fight ended only when Georgetown coach John Thompson pulled his team off the court, huddling in the locker room before asking but not getting a police escort back to their hotel. I couldn't believe it. I, I, I've been in this business for 20 years and I've never seen an ending like this. You're very rarely going to have a brawl, so this was a complicating issue of a lot of things thrown in together um, that made the situation escalate. Kind of a unique deal, if you know what I mean. But this brawl and the video spreading across the internet was inconveniently timed, just as Vice President Joe Biden arrived in China. It had been all smiles when Biden stopped by to watch Georgetown's first game on Wednesday. And before the trip, Georgetown players recorded a series of playful videos, like this one, of players looking for Chinese tea at a Georgetown cafeteria. You all take Chinese yuans? But it's this image the trip is most likely to be remembered for. We learned today that several players from the Chinese team visited the Americans in their hotel this morning to try to smooth things over, saw them off at the airport as they left Beijing, even accepted an invitation to come play in the U.S. And we'll get a chance to see if that basketball detente is real. The two teams meet again in a tournament this weekend.